ിസ്റ്റേഷൻ <laughs> the indian minister should be there with his team the provincial government should be there with his team so they were not there and we should have there because this is turning into shia sunni thing we don't want this to be shia sunni because we are uh, near to moram because in few days time moram is going to start and uh, god forbid if it's, if it's uh, been given uh, like this that it's shia sunni then it, it might uh, go to all over pakistan which is allowed because in previous years we have seen lot of this thing of shia sunni So we don't give this thing as a Shia Sunni. It's uh, um, in my uh, thinking and if, whatever information I've got, there's there's land dispute going on. Uh, after the merger of uh, Fata, uh, the tribes of different tribes, their land lands are not being marked. So I think uh, they have got main issues of uh, uh, their their land marking, but thing is is turning into Shia Sunni thing, which we should not be uh, like this. Prime Minister should call the Jirga to Islamabad or Peshawar or send his team. Interior Minister should be there, and uh, the Provincial Government should also be there to solve this problem immediately. Uh, I am going to contact my party there and my federal minister also there because he is already sitting there. If the Jirga is there, we we hope and we pray that this Jirga should work and this dispute should be solved as soon as possible. Uh, it's not the matter of Provincial Government or Federal Government. Whichever government is there, we want the matter should be solved. so we are going going towards the uh, solution of uh, matter so I'll, i i am in touch with my federal minister also there uh, he is senior he is a uh, vice president of our party also and he is sitting there from last few days so this matter should be solved it's not solved then inter- interior minister and prime minister should intervene it and it should they should come to see sir also and this matter should be solved because if you if you see step wise earlier there was fight between them then the, the teachers as a sensation there and these type of things three four incident happened uh, one after another and it was it was not been solved and it came to like this the the arms used there uh, openly fi- firing going on uh, very heavy uh, weapons are being used people are some people are mentioning that it's a uh, cross border terrorism type of thing which is not i think my personal opinion is not it's our own problem it's not cross border it's nothing but we should sit together and solve this problem all and i'll also request which i have done in my press conference also i'll also request all the ulamas that they should give peace message harmony message not the message of fight or to get, gather them that shia uh, community should gather or sunni community should gather we should give the message of peace and harmony uh, i agree with you there are uh, dispute seven dispute or eight dispute uh, in in former fata and thing is It's long time now we have got this. We have done this merger of Fata, and why is not being solved? Every former Fata region has land dispute, and the tribes have land dispute, and it's still going on. Why has previously governments not taken it seriously? They have left it like this. The thing is, there was. I am saying it. It might not be hundred percent in Kuram. It hundred. It might not be hundred percent land dispute. There, but there, there might be other reasons. Like, like, like I have said about the uh, the uh, what was happened about this association of this uh, school teachers and other things, there might be other reasons also. But thing is that the voice is coming there as a Shia Sunni. We don't want to do that Shia Sunni thing. We don't want to raise this voice as a Shia Sunni. Whatever dispute is, Jirga is there. They are going to solve this issue, and we want to solve this issue at the priority basis because we don't. we can't afford it because after a few days this uh, moram is going which have uh, earlier have said moram is going to start and we can't afford this at the moram this these type of voices coming from kuram or any other part of pakistan is affordable you know uh, enemy of pakistan or or across the border also if you go you have got the border with uh, india what they want in pakistan they want to build in pakistan now we have got this uh, border with afghanistan we always talk to afghan bo- afghan government that our both soil should not be used for terrorism against each other uh, this is also the big problem for us so thing is that whoever is uh, against pakistan whoever is bringing uncivilized pakistan they are not the they are not friends of pakistan they are not lover of pakistan 
So we are, from last couple of years, we are fighting war against terror. Our security forces, our, our police, whoever is in the government, they are fighting war against terror and we are fighting it. And uh, we will fight till the till end, unless we bring peace in the region, unless we bring peace in Pakistan also. For specific Kuram, Kuram thing, I've heard a couple of people who have said that this is cross-border terrorism, a one soil is being used for that. That's not. I, I, I don't agree with that. But all over Pakistan, if I'm saying whatever is happening in Pakistan, either it's happening in uh, Waziristan, if it's happening in Khyber Pakhmukha, if it, uh, you, you are uh, watching in the news every day, our yeah. security forces have been targeted, our polio team has been targeted, our uh, census team has been targeted, our police has been targeted. So I'm talking about that thing. That's that's not the. Uh, uh, Palachina or Kuram issue, that's something else. So there are two okay. things happening at a time. I'm, uh, I'm talking about Prime Minister, or I'm asking Prime Minister because he's Chief Secretary of Pakistan. That's why I'm asking him. Whoever is right now uh, Prime Minister of Pakistan, he's Chief Secretary of Pakistan. So uh, my, my thinking, my opinion is this, maybe it's, there are some other things. If it's land dispute, if the government is sitting there, if the provincial government is sitting there, if federal government is sitting there, they will instruct their uh, subordinates, whoever are there, why it's not been solved from last five years. What's the problem? The thing is, whoever is responsible for this, whoever is responsible for uh, this terrorism, they should be brought to task. Whoever is responsible, if land, if thing is, if this there is land dispute or something, so why is not solved? You know, the commitment with FATA was in previous government, the governments have promised them, the state has promised them that you will development work, work in your area. Uh, unfortunately, there is no NFC award from last couple of years. Nobody is looking for this NFC award. Nobody is questioning that why there is no NFC award. Why are we not giving part of, former part of their share, their development share? We are spending millions or, uh, of uh, rupees in development efforts of Pakistan. If you can see in this budget, what we have done, we have given funds to Punjab, we have given, given funds to Sin, KP, Boristan. One more question here is when. Uh, when we come into the uh, you call, uh, this um, caretaker government, when the caretaker government comes, their duty is to conduct free and fair election. From last couple of months, or you can say one year, there is a caretaker government in Punjab and KP. They are doing development work, they are doing transfer postings, they are doing everything as elected government do. It's not a, it's not, it, it doesn't seem like it's a caretaker government, it seems like an elected government. So the thing is, whatever share, Fata has, you, you should at least, uh, we are not giving share also, but right now whatever problem is, that, that's the second thing after this, but now right now the problem is of the law level, we want this ceasefire, we want uh, peace circa there, we want this Muharram should be spent peacefully, we want that the people there, either they are Shia, either they are Sunni, either they are, whichever sect they are, they should live like uh, they were doing together, like like their brothers, and they do develop. If there is instability in that area, if there is this type of dispute going on this area, how come uh, the government or the development agencies will go there? So first thing is uh, peace and stability. So we are working for that, and I, I hopefully Prime Minister has also taken this action, and I hope that this uh, thing will be solved very soon.